from director Scott Cooper and producer Guillermo del Toro. No matter what you do, open the door. Open the door. Ah! Jeffrey Pinkman. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd come in stone cold. <laughs> Fuck up, man. Um, yeah, well, about any filter. I just want to start by saying thanks to everyone who's uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel and that. Uh, yeah, really appreciate the support and thanks for everyone who's watched the video. Um, I so with it being Halloween, we thought it would be a good idea to start off with a video of me scaring the living shit with a bootsie. Oh, hi, lovely, eh? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Fuck off, man! Yeah, <laughs> oh, that was fucking nice, wasn't it? Just for that, like, aye. So, uh, this week we've seen a bit, um, some more comments and all that on my uh, on my YouTube video, which is kind of you had a few comments on that, didn't we? Yeah. Seen the subscribers soaring 125. I know. Look at that, get in, right? There's this one lad with a banana. He says, uh, it's Alex Neela, right? He says, I'm from Killingworth in the Toon, living in rural Victoria, which is down, down Victoria, believe it or not. And he says, every time I go to McDonald's and I use the drive through it's a mission and a half to put an order through. Once I asked for a latte and the girl said, we do chicken nuggets in boxes of 6, 12 and 24. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and that's it. That's mad that because... I don't know whether it be in the accent and all that, but you can say something that makes perfect sense in your head. Aye. But the response you'll get from an Aussie or it's just a completely random. Yeah, I've been on sites before, man, and I've asked where the toilet is. What do I do? <laughs> I, I've asked where the toilet is. <laughs> the tools, are you? <laughs> but honestly, yeah, I've asked where the toilet is, and the point is in the direction of who's doing the toiling. <laughs> to me, it makes no sense, but I just, that's, just the that's just the way it is, aye. I know. I always get mistaken for being fucking about Scottish, Welsh. Never English. I get Scottish, Welsh. And fucking Irish before uh, they guess guess fucking Newcastle. Nah, but nah, a lot of people over here don't even know like about Newcastle. Uh, unless it's like, oh Jolie Shaw. Anyway, um I've had another comment actually on the Facebook, really nice comment to be fair, like it's from a guy called William. <laughs> Had to switch off two of the most annoying pricks on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> he then goes on to say, You're blocked, knob in big block capitals. Uh, just wanna say, uh, thanks very much for the support, Will and Gan you fucking heed your bull. <laughs> <laughs> you don't make a bug with that, hello. You see, I put that air uh, on, it says, uh, two of the most annoying pricks on the planet, and I love it, which is the worst one. Uh, it was a landslide victory. Landslide. <laughs> I don't know what you're fucking laughing at. You, it, the pool was, who was the bigger prick? It, you're still a fucking prick. Aye, and I would. I'm still a prick, to be fair. Aye. Anyway. Uh, to be fair, that was the only uh, negative comment we've had, and um, you know what I mean? You still viewed the video, so Aye. thanks for the support. Right, so back to where we were then. Um, so, them scare videos, um, you know, a few people that have known her for a while, you might have seen some like that scare videos doing the rounds on Facebook over the years. Um, basically, back in 2014, how many years ago was that? Like, fucking seven, eight years ago. It's like a lifetime ago. Um, we, we lived 20. together back in England for a, for a stretch, back in November 2014. Thought I'd seen the back of me. <laughs> Coming up, coming up. You fucking you were trying to be up the back of his own. Right, honestly, we'll get it ready. I'd, I'd, oh, I'd woke up sometimes and he was sitting in my fucking bed. Where are I? Where are I? Middle of the night, lad. Um, so I, we, we lived together for a little bit. <laughs> you did? <laughs> we're not telling you I in my fucking bed. I um, What was I going to say? I've lost my train of thought now. So 2014, I lived together in a two bedroom terrace in Winlayton, a metropolitan borough of Gates, oh, as right. they say. And um, I, we were just two single 20 something year olds, and um, I would just both thought it would make sense to live together. We obviously got pals and that. Uh, we both, both saved a bit of coin and just think we won't get fucked, we're going to do with the rest of our lives. And, um, and that's when we started doing these scare videos, so um, you started. Yeah. You did, I. I, was, I came home from work one day, 
Which he was doing like night shift or something in the factory, weren't you? So you and I was doing day shift and I came in and um, I couldn't get in the house and he'd locked the door and had the key in the back of the front door so I couldn't get in. So I went to the front window and he sat there going, ah, you daft gun. I was like, oh, fuck's sake, that needs to be the work all day, he's going to get in the house. <laughs> so I went in the back of the house and he'd done the same with the back door, he's at the back window going, ah, you daft gun. I was like, oh, fuck's sake, man. What have I got myself into, yeah? <laughs> and then, um, anyway, that was that. And then another like, week later or something, I came home from work and I came in the front door and he was fucking hiding behind the door, about the stairs, and just jumped out and I fucking shit myself. And I'm, I'm sure you got it on video. Oh, yeah, that's been lost. That must have been that many years. And after that day, I was like, right, that's fucking gift. I'm going to get me revenge, yeah. And did I not? Oh, yeah. And that's when I done this one. Take it away, techno. <laughs> Are you seeing it? You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking Not to get carried away on all the videos. <laughs> Not to get carried away on all the videos and all that. Like, we'll stick them on a uh, highlight reel on the end. Aye. Rather than fucking tackling it with this shite the whole Aye, fucking yeah. time. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we had some funny times where we were like, uh, living together and all. Like. For that time that we did live together, what, what was, was it? It was, it was only a year, was, wasn't it? It was about a year, aye, just, just short of 12 months it was. I didn't have to handle it any more time. Aye, aye. Remember that fucking night, man, where we went to a party at a fucking church and the priest I went out We got hired by the priest. Now there's only person that now has been hired for church by the fucking priest. <laughs> <laughs> now there's, that was one of the weekends that we said we weren't going to drink or not, we are just going to have a chilled one. I think there was like a fight on early on in the morning, might have been like. Was it not? Was it not? Uh, it might have been a McGregor fight, you know. I don't know, I like back when he was doing bits and all that, but I was said we weren't going to drink, man, and then we got invited to that uh, charity do with the church one, and I from it. And then uh, well, I sat there and they were, playing, they were playing music and all that, and I said, there was a Tesco, it was like right next to Aye. the stage or something, wasn't it? Because it was bring your own drink, so Aye. it was like a church. But we weren't going to drink, and I was saying to you, how it will just get a half, Aye, I was half like, no, 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 like, no, 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 no. You know what he's like? And then I, I pushed it and pushed it, we ended up getting half a litre of vodka each. Uh, we drank that, got a bit got a bit leery and all that, and then we ended up stumbling across the the, the Tesco, getting another half a litre each. And then that, the next thing I had, nah, fucking, you waking up, I woke up the next morning, your legs snapped in half. Oh, yeah, I've got any phone on now. I can fill this. Cuts out of I've got scores up, it's still off that knee. I can fill the blanks in. So basically, <laughs> Um, we went to this church, right, and I was a rave in one side, and the back side was the, the back room, whatever, that was like a hip hop DJ. It was obviously bring you old drink, families and that there, you know. And we were sitting in the back room because we've we got a, a chair and a table, and we're sitting drink my vodka. And you now he's like, oh, if you didn't, he gets a bit, uh, you know, a bit it boisterous. Be, they, uh, for, they, for, for, it's probably a good word to say, he gets a bit boisterous when he's uh, had a few. And, um, the, pop, the pop that I was putting in the mouth, that was harmless though to be fair, but it was just being loud and all that. And I got to a point where the priest came over and said, Oh, sorry, sorry, lads, it's like family shot, and um, you know, your friends gonna have to leave and all that. And I was like, well, Fuck's it, we're literally getting put out of the church by the priest. So that was that. So I walked from Gateshead <laughs> over to Newcastle, and then halfway there, I thought it was a good idea to whip my shirt off and go and dive head first through the fucking hedge at the Gala Bingo or something. Hey, hey Steve. Hi. <laughs> anyway, we kept on walking and then we got like near the Tyne Bridge kind of area, we were going to go into the town and then um, he just disappeared out of some while and like he was a lot more pissed than me and I thought, oh fuck's sake, I can't just leave him like pissed, I've got to get after him. So I followed him out of this while and I didn't realise this was about a fucking 20 foot drop <laughs> on the other side and I just clattered to the ground and um, I'd done my leg in and I couldn't find him, I was ringing him and all that, just like he was just ringing out. And then, um, I think I'd lost my phone, like, uh, and I'm lying around, going around in the bushes in pain, you know, and my leg was fucked. And if you're not in Newcastle, I walked from, like, that side of the quay side, on the, um, the Gateshead side, over to the Swing Bridge. I sat at the Swing Bridge, I thought, oh, he's going to be walking out, I have soon, he's got to be, he's got to come past the axe, I've not seen him. Sat there for half an hour, I didn't come, and then um, ended up walking from the quay side to the um, Central Station, I get a taxi or something. I don't know why I didn't get a taxi from Janelle, I was just pissed. My leg was killing, by the way. Then by the time I got home, he was sitting on the couch eating a McDonald's. I was like, how the <laughs> fuck did you get home before me? I tell you what, like, I remember like, waking up the next morning and uh, coming to like, because my room was next to his, obviously, up upstairs in the two bedroom. I opened the door and all that, and I come in, Steve's looking at his way, evil eyes, right? the top of his quill. 
and I come in it, and I went to jump on him and he's like, oh, put me, put me leg, oh, me leg. leg. And, I, and I pulled the quill back and yeah, his leg was, his leg was just snapped in half. Oh, and you had to snap your leg, So I got home, I was in a lot of pain and that. But obviously, at first I wasn't really in pain because I was like drunk and that. So oh, I, was, yeah. I was walking on it still. I got home and nice. I bet you look like a zombie. When the drinks started wearing off a bit, I was like, oh, it's a bit, nah, it's a bit. So I put the support bandage on it. It was killing, and in the morning when I woke up, I looked at my leg and my ankle was like a balloon like that, wasn't it? Why, I? And um, sure enough, I broke my leg. I've got a, um, sure I've got a picture of the X-ray off, and I've got a photo of his of the uh, cast on. Yeah, and that so clip this that fucking day, idiot, like. I, I fully blame him for me breaking my leg that day. He got thrown out of the church, went and dove head first for a bush, and then went and made us break my leg. I mean, that's what it is. We're so I had great times living together, like. right? <laughs> we, we would have not, not, not really where you did that. But I, I had lost my phone and I did find my iPhone and went back and got my phone the next day from and it was sat like in the grass and all that but fuck me, what was the jump like? Aye, so we went to the spot to find his phone and when we got there we looked up at this wall and we were like fucking hell, when I broke my fucking Aye, leg. Aye, I know. Did you not break your fucking leg? I never know. Could have broke my fucking neck to my wife. Aye, I know. But I, anyway, we're getting a bit off topic here. High times. Aye, it's did I. <laughs> Uh, Thought I would fly the lad. But other than that, it was you know, I had a great time living together. Fuck you know. Wait, um, I. But I, we're getting a bit off topic. Halloween special and all that. Um, did you ever go and trick or treating as a kid? Oh nah, wasn't allowed me. Did you know? Nah, I wasn't allowed to go. And t- you never dress up for Halloween or no? Three things. No two. Nah, I wasn't allowed. To, like I, um, I was never allowed a dog, and I wasn't allowed to go and trick or treating. I used to honestly, I used to. At least once a month when I was a bear and I would be crying to my mother like, Get a dog, let's have a dog, I'll walk and I'm telling you. No, no really. And then obviously I'll be pals and I can't trick a treating. And I wasn't allowed to go and I don't know, my mother just didn't want to let us go. I mean, it's a mad idea when you think about it though. It's basically going and knocking on doors begging like, to be fair, I don't know if I would let my kids stay, to be fair. No. But um, I remember like, can anyone remember this? Like when you were little, like back in the 90s and I'm talking, like you, you would, you basically, your costume for um, Halloween would be, literally be a bin bag. In like a you'd 50 pence plastic mask from the corner shop, and you'd be buzzing, like, look at me, I'm dead scary. Or like, you know, I was getting those witch, they rub out witch fingers and a nose and all that. Oh, and I was going to the estate, knocking on people's door, and like. There was that rumor going around you had one of their witch's fingers up yours for a week. Oh, aye. <laughs> aye, it was your party piece. Aye. And, uh-huh. uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Anywho. I used to go and uh, trick or treat for a good few years, probably from the ages of like, I don't know, like 9 and 13 or something, or 12 or something. I used to go and trick or treat and uh, you would go and smaller, the smaller group, the better, because obviously you would share the money out, and obviously you would get more. But you would always remember the neighbours that like used to give out the 50 pence piece of the pound coin, and the next day you would go in there first, and you always remember the tight cunts would give you like two pence and that. And then you'd oh yeah, I didn't go to her, she just gives you sweets, you know, like, and then, oh, this one gives you like 50 pence. Some of the neighbours were lovely about them. You'd always get that one neighbour who just stand the door and give you a lecture. Do you know what you are doing? Yeah, do you know what Halloween's actually about? You'd be like, oh, what, what was it about like? I don't know. <laughs> I would <laughs> get on people's doors and say, trick or treat. I wouldn't have a clue. You'd always get a neighbour now who would go and um, go on then, do us a trick. You'd go, trick or treat, they go, oh, go on then, I'll have a trick. Like, oh, fuck's sake. Fuck not one of these idiots. <laughs> guy, oh, yeah, now it doesn't matter. Sure, you a trick, I'll put your windows. Ah, you know. I was a part of curtain twitch on Halloween, me and I, I'd be like, Watching everyone come into the garden and all that. Oh, fucking hell, look at it. You know what it is? I wonder who that is. The daft cunt trying to take my Pokemon, I'm, will you? I'm a bit hypocrite, me though, because although I did used to love trick or treating as a kid, when I was an adult and I had my own house now, when it was Halloween, I would draw the curtains and turn the lights off and pretend I wasn't in, and I would sit upstairs watching tennis and I just wouldn't answer the door trick or treat. Hey, I mean, I mean, I, I mean yeah, sometimes I would give them cats and that, but I was just like, oh yeah, I won't get any fucking trick or treat as yeah. Oh, you ever get the Carol Singers one? Um, joy to the world! So have you ever dressed up for Halloween, like, as an adult? Eh. You know what it is? I kind of think, you know, I remember years ago in the tune, we all, we all went to uh, the tune dressed as, like, uh, dressed as grannies, I think. I think that might have been Halloween, but there was that time, me and you were going to dress up as, eh, uh, well, and Jesse uh, for, for that detonation at the boot. special. But, eh. Uh, mm. Can you imagine uh, how hot it would have been in there, man? The sweat would have been dripping off the roof, uh, but I was just... Just, just the day, man. I was, I was thinking. I, I felt how hot it is the day. Oh, it's really gross. Like, I, I was outside and I digging right and uh, I was fucking honestly. The sweat was just coming off me when I was like, fuck. Like I need a fucking drink here. I mean, like take fucking desert here. And uh, <laughs> I, but that's fucking. 
what was it, like 30 odd degrees, and then it's got that breeze and all, it's felt right. like a hairdryer, you know. Fuck me, I know, right? Obviously, it's felt like someone's blown a hairdryer right. in all day. Obviously, I was working in the office and all that, and then I was in the office all morning from like 9 o'clock or something, and I went inside at like 1 o'clock on my break, and I was like, fuck me, like you say it was like a hairdryer. Aye, it is. It was, it, fucking, it was like a tropical storm, it was windy as fuck, but aye. it was heat hot. Aye. Smart. I get to that. Like, was it wasn't like a nice cool breeze, it was like a pure warm. And, uh, Hot breeze. <laughs> yeah, I can't pick his shoes, man. I'll put on you now. Really? You just spit them all over here, like. I thought it was one. I mean, I am the one who knocks. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I am. Now, I, now what I think is fucking mad when you say people are, like pissing the boot at Halloween and all that, you know, with the with the Ouija boards and all that. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Are you, have you ever done that? Me and some of my mates, she's like, I'll wait, not all the time, but we've done it a few times. Aye, aye. Shut up, man, have you? Proper young, aye. Nah, honestly, I've never, honestly, I can't kind of believe you've done that. Aye, I've been like a couple of my pals, like, must have been like literally like 11, 12 or something. The fucking Ouija board with the glass? I always used to make one, so what we used to do is we used to write like all the letters down on a bit of paper and we'd rip them all out. Why? And numbers. Why? Just to see if it was real. Are you for fucking real? Yeah, the first one when I was in year six, it was at a kid's birthday party. Was year six we done one? Yeah. Hey, I don't even know then, that then year six. Because we were sitting watching horror films anyway. Right. So fucking, but like, you can have your fingers always someone pushing the glass and it says like die or something. Does it? But um, wait, because I've been five years in the circle or more. And, like, I've only ever seen it on the film, and I wouldn't dream of doing that. If you never know, anyway, so this is this is the PR home makeshift one. You write all the letters and numbers down, you put them in a big circle. They wouldn't be telling more viewers to do this. Put it upside down glass, everyone just puts their fingers on their glass and then, and. I can't even watch it, do you? It spells out words, right? But this one time, right? So me and two of my pals, if he managed to go to his um, grandparents' bungalow, like up on top of the state I was living at, on a Sunday sometimes, and me and my other pal, you're laughing as all if you're watching this. So we went to my uh, grandparents' house, and, uh, we used to do the Ouija board in the little um, like utility room where the washing machine was. We'd be doing it on top of like the washing machine. Oh, yeah. And then one time the washing machine went off and we're fucking shit ourselves in the glass smashing that. We're like fucking because it's put out intense now when you keep like, I wouldn't dream of doing this. Sitting in silence, son. <laughs> Is that you moving that? No, it was he. He's like, what's the fucking fucking me like? <laughs> and then uh, this one time, right? We're in there doing it and um, we're like just fucking. Dean and Ouija were all quiet and I was like, bam, 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 and the door, right? We shut myself, we opened the door, and I was no one there. Shut the we fuck up. We were like, no fucking way. I was like, Honestly. yeah, I'm going, yeah, mate. I've legged it all the way up. From the top of the estate, the bottom of the estate, I literally ran, I've never ran fast. Gentry! I ran all the way home. Gentry, <laughs> run! And then, <laughs> but then it run. turns out, so my mate's granddad legged me, so he went, shut up, he, went the, he went in the bathroom. And he like, know the little windows. He was right. leaving out the window of a broom handle. It's like, bang, bang on the oh, door. Yeah, oh, he's fucking shit oh, no way. But I used to do that. I'll, I didn't make it out there, you know, like, nah. oh, you're a bit fearless as a kid, aren't you? I seen one of Leila's pals there, eh? like, does the makeup and all that, and she had the Ouija board drawn on her chest. I was like, she's wild here, they not that, like, no way, I would be fearless. That. That's asking for trouble. Then I was like, even just like, you're inviting fucking demons into our soul. Like, yeah, that's what they do on the scary films, man. They, they do the Ouija board, next thing you know, you've got one of them ghouls in the fucking cupboard, man. I know. No way. You're opening a portal uh, to let the, the, uh, the poltergeist they're, right? they're the best kind of horror, so I think the ones that are like, like demons, like poltergeist kind of, uh, you know, like possessions and shit. Oh, uh, they too, they too much. Right? Now, every time I put a scary film on, like, oh, it'll take a couple of months, right? I'll be like, oh, shall I watch a scary film and all that? And then uh, everyone like, I will watch a scary film. And then literally about two minutes in, I'm like, why the fuck am I putting uh, myself through this again? I hate it. But it was... I must have been about 18, me and uh, Hunty went to the pictures on like uh, Wednesday night or something like that, probably Orange Wednesdays and I like, oh, I remember that, I right? remember that, right? that was good that, and uh, we'd been to see the orphan man, and right. to go film, fucking hell, and uh, I remember Hunty was driving, yeah, and he, uh, the, the, the main hill going up into Willett Mill, he wouldn't drive up it, he just dropped us off on the bottom hill, and it was pitch black, it was <laughs> the I knew. I tell you what, I was like Hussein Bolt up the road, you know. <laughs> Honestly, I was nearly bubbling. I was like, how about you take this up? He's like, no, 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 I wouldn't take this up. Yeah. Right. Right, what do you reckon the, the scary film you've seen? Um, the scariest I've seen? I don't know. I remember when I was about 11, I watched the, pol- the f- fucking Exorcist with my dad. And I've I never seen that. I watched it as an adult, and it's a bit like, you know, the effects are poor, and it's like, obviously, it was in the 70s, so it's like grainy and that. And like, but back then, when I was a kid, and 
like the, it's creep, creep, creepy music, and I think I think films that were made back then in the seventies, like horror films especially, got all a bit creepier just because they're all dated and that. Like, it's not a weird fucking thing. And I remember that night, I watched Exorcist with Dad. Oh, I've been fucking that man, and I was shit myself after it. And I literally, I had to go to the toilet afterwards. I, had, I went up the stairs to get the toilet. I kept all the lights on. I said, Da, would you come to the bottom of the stairs? I was literally having a piss, making sure my dad was there. Uh-huh. And shit myself. I seen the, the light on and everything, but um, I don't know. I remember I probably I shit myself once when um. Me and one of your mates went to see um, Paranormal Activity 2 at the Odeon or something, the Metro Center. Ah, did you? But it was a like last minute film. Oh, she got the pictures right now, day in the Saturday afternoon. So I went down, and when we got there, because it was a quite a popular film, there was, there was literally two seats left, and it was the two front centre seats, so we're like, <laughs> ah, I fuck it, go on then. And then, um, so we were, we were sitting there watching the film, and there's a scene where there's a woman just sitting like at the bench in the kitchen, just like reading a magazine. <laughs> you know it's coming, don't you? And then all the pots and the pans and that like just drop from the ceiling. They're all like hanging up. They all drop. And then all the cupboard doors fly open. Uh, and I literally went, shit! <laughs> I dumped up my chair and I grabbed some random woman's leg. and was sitting there. Honestly, I think shit. <laughs> and then that's the story to tell. Everyone on the fucking um, row like, was looking like that. And I was just like, <laughs> everyone was laughing. This is all like, oh my god. That's the story to tell. Now he had his cock and everything. <laughs> Touching the lass up next to you. Honestly, now nah, there's a reaction though when you shake yourself. Oh, yeah, just, no. Honestly, I fucking got a fright. Like when you front set that now, you're gonna go to Now what? Um, we were watching one the other night because I'd been to the uh, the pictures years ago to see Halloween, and it was about that bloke with the mask on and that. And uh, they're making a new one. I they making a new one. And I thought, oh, that'll be good to see because the last one I went to watch it, that was fucking mint in there. Me and then I put it on. And I thought, yeah, this is pure shit. This like. Mm. So I mean, maybe it's when I was just a little bit younger, maybe it's, uh, I thought, oh, I mean, that was scary, but maybe yeah. it's new, I think Aye. it was a bit fucking shite. Aye, some of them slash out ones and that, when you watch them back now, Just a oh, delete with the mask on, Aye. but I tell you what, if you come into my bedroom on a daytime, I'd bubble my eyes, wouldn't I? No, no, I'd just right. kick them out of the way. I'll get them out mask on, I'll bubble it. Will you fucking kick them out? We do, you're a man, you pervert! Um, I remember another film that freaked us out as a kid was Poltergeist 2. There was a bloke who was like, Poltergeist? Have I never seen Poltergeist? It's about like... Oh, it's fuck me, I'm boiling in the eye now. Uh, sitting here with a woolly hat on. Like, and there's a bloke in it who's like supposed to be like the devil and he's an old creepy bloke with like a dark something eyes and he's got a big hat on and he's like... There's a scene where it's like... You know there's a, there's a girl in the family who can speak to the dead or whatever. But long story short, there's a scene where he's walking up the driveway dead slowly up to the house just staring up through the window and the family in the house can. Who's this creepy old cunt in the garden? He just, he's walking up the driveway dead slowly. Oh, you get to know he's like. Tell him in! He's like, you're gonna die in there! It's, it's fucking creepy now! Aye, Poltergeist! Aye, uh, Poltergeist too. I remember as a kid, I f- it scared the fucking life out of us. But like, in terms of modern horrors, that Insidious was good. I kind of believe you've shaved your hair off for this. Aye. And also a couple of us. Insidious! Conjuring. Conjuring. Oh, now what's about that, that uh, Wolf Creek? I've still never seen that. Honestly, that's getting set just where did that place we went for oh, breakfast? Fucking rude we there. went, ah, it's uh, not far from yeah, maybe it's an hour's drive. But remember we went for that mountain walk a little while again when the lockdown was in the middle of the lockdown. The Wolf Creek. And we couldn't see anything because the clouds were too low. Remember? Oh, and the waterfall thing. The place we stopped for breakfast, that's where fucking oh, Ivan I Ivan that, watch Carly. What's Carl Ivan? Oh, Ivan Malat. But apparently, the character in the Wolf Creek, Mick, he's based on two Aussie oh. serial killers. So it's like a fictional he, story oh, that's yeah. based on... It, it creeps us out, you're not even talking about it, because... Yeah, man, he's got family and all that, like, I don't trust it, mate. Mm. Chop, yeah. The chop backpackers up yeah, there now. Yeah, you have a backpackers getting fucking murdered, and that, like, Aye. quite a lot. Of Wolf Creek is a uh, sketchy, like... Aye. Uh, you just say normal, normal people. Like, is, I'm glad I haven't seen that because if I did watch that, I, I probably wouldn't have went back back in <laughs> Australia. Probably would have put his eight off. I wouldn't be hitchhiking, Anna. Nah, what a fuck. He was a you fucking mad kid. Out there, fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre that teaches you anything. It's the one fucking. Was that a true story? I think it's supposed to be. I Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Where the van breaks down in the middle of nowhere and this blow comes in up as the Mahan and all. I always thought it was called the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, mate. Because yeah, Massacre. No, I think Massacre. Massacre. Because he kills every cunt. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Massacre's um, crazy. What about good horror films like that? Because to be fair, right, we always sometimes sit down and I'll watch a horror film, but there's not a lot of good, like, like modern, like, new horror films. Right. 
And then um, some of them are just shite now, like where it's, where it's like the things like a monster, and then you see the monster at the end is like a big CGI fucking thing and it's killing us. Oh, the nah, nah, the, nah. the scariest films for me are the ones that you can believe. Yeah. You know, like the ones I, like there's some just like some some stalker or something like that. Uh, I seen Lakeview Terrace. No. That's like Samuel Jackson, he just plays a weirdo thing. Mm. But I, they're the kind of ones that scare me, you know, ones yeah. that you can believe. I definitely. Because I believe in aliens and all that, but I'm not, I've never seen a ghost, oh, but I do think it is a ghost. I just I, haven't seen it. I've never seen a ghost, like. Uh, but you never know. Has anyone? It's all the bullshit. You reckon? <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't I, even I, jink it. I never know. Even jink it! I do know people who uh, claim they have that, but. I Pissed at the time though. Nah, not for me, like, I, yeah. I, I, didn't, I wouldn't play with them Ouija boards, I wouldn't do now like that, mate. But I was going to say, if you know any, like, really good horror films that you can suggest, let me know. Whack a comment in there, something. Aye. Because I'm, I'm always struggling to find good horrors, like. Aye, nah. Wait, wait, I think, as far as, uh, Halloween podcasts can go, and, like, I, we've getting dressed up and all that, and we've, uh, spent $45 each on these, the fucking shame. You see that, guy? Yeah. Just rips apart. Fucking shame. Forty-five dollars. Oh, I want my money back. I couldn't even get mine on. As soon as I put, <laughs> it, as soon as I put it on, it was split. Now it is. I'm sweating my day off now. It's been fucking thirty odd degrees. I'm sat here like a divvy with a with a fucking thingy on. You've got uh, that swimming cap on. No, no, I'm laughing. At I'm sitting there laughing. You look like the torpedo. But uh, I, so I just uh, what's the word again? <laughs> Close it off. Oh, yeah. What's it? We well, haven't figured out words in that because every fucking episode I'm like, what's the what word again? What are you trying to say? Like, uh, like, tie it up. like I like uh, I don't know, like uh, summarize. Summarize. I, so I, summary. So as far as what's your final I, thought, the last. I the final thought. Uh, no, I just uh, I don't know. Like, cheers for watching and all uh, that. We've had a good time doing this one. But you know what it is? It's a Friday night. Been at work all week in the heat and all that. I'm done in me, so if this podcast shite, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be putting the blame on me. I'm fucking knackered, yeah, mate. It better be good, because fuck me. I know. I'll sweat me fucking heel off and that stupid thing. I know. I was asking all that before. And we're all weekend, so I haven't got time to refilm it now. Yeah. So we're fucked. Yeah, should be alright, man. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, just thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, as they say. Aye, as they say. Me you feel that sign in here? Yeah. Ooh, you're kind. Oh. Whoa, thank fuck for that.